and Jerry Lewis with Kitty Kellen, the four stepbrothers, Danny Arnold, and Harvey Wheelwick. Presented by the Colgate Pummel of Pete Company, makers of Halo Shampoo. Colgate Dental Cream. Ajax Cleanser. Palm Olive Soap. And now, the Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis Show. Hello, librarian. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm awfully sorry. Welcome to our 1952 Librarian's Convention. I'm sure you remember our last convention. We had a jolly good time, didn't we? <laughs> and this year, we have a grand surprise for you. As our guests, we have two wonderful entertainers. I'm very happy to present those two wonderful comedians, the fabulous Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis. They want you to keep quiet. Keep quiet. <laughs> yeah, but they didn't yell. <laughs> that means keep quiet. You shouldn't yell in a library. Yeah, but when you... <laughs> Do you get it yet? But I was... <laughs> hey. sing about three or four thousand songs. And well, you can't, Dean, because I gotta get out of here. According to my alarm clock, Dick Tracy, watch radio, I gotta get out of here because the alarm is gonna uh, go off and I gotta get oh, a tattoo. What is, did I get a tattoo? Yes, I have to hurry downtown right away. Why don't you get your ears pierced while you're there? <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to do? The whole head I'll break. Turn it off, turn it off. Well, the alarm is... Here, yeah, turn right, it off. I can't have the alarm. I gotta... Hey. All right. All right. Did it again, huh? Well, no, I mean, now, I... don't answer me unless you ask. Yeah, but Listen, I mean, I... Why do you have to do this to me? Why? Tell me, why? 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 Hey. I didn't do that. I didn't do that. <laughs> I just walked in there, and the red light Every time I come out here, you gotta do something. I don't got it. <laughs> I mean, I gotta do it. I walked out there. I didn't do nothing. How many shows have we done here? How well, many? Maybe about six of them, and you don't do a thing like we that. We did 13 of them, but I... <laughs> If you want to say something to me, say it. All right. <laughs> While you're down there, introduce my song. Yes, it is. It is quite you comfortable. You must sing. Oh, I get out of here. It is quite comfortable. And our producer, our producer Ernie Glucksman, who uh, produces the show, <laughs> he said it would be wise for all of you people listening in at home to sort of relax. So, uh, why not just lie down on the floor like I am? 
Isn't that more comfy? Here, on the floor. Selma. Selma, you're sitting in the leather chair. That isn't as comfy as this. Ready? Now, fine. Now, the first exercise is over one. Now, it will take the sides from the muscles and make them realm in repose. What? Jerry, move stage left, please. Who's that, Dr. Coffee Nerd? <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? This is King, Jerry. Move stage left. King? King Kong? <laughs> oh, our TV director, Kingman Moore. You want me to move stage left? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, yes. Father of a bird, mother of a son. <laughs> oh, yes, <laughs> Sister of a toad, I'm uh -huh. <laughs> Hello, everybody, hello. Halo Shampoo presents the story of Aladdin and his magic lamp. <laughs> oh, fair one. Why so sad? My hair's so dull. I'll never get a date. Don't worry. My genie will help you. <coughs> Madam, your hair. What did you wash it with? This stuff. Oh, don't you know soaping dolls' hair? Halo a glorifies it. Halo's not a soap or oily cream, so it can't leave dulling soap a film. Halo means natural beauty. The first time that you use it, you need no special rinsing after you use it. Ah. Oh. Halo leaves your hair shining and glorious. Dandruff-free and wonderfully easy to manage. So halo, everybody, halo. Halo shampoo, halo. Hi there. I'm Jane Meadows. You know, the important thing to remember from that cute little story is that soaping dulls hair. Halo glorifies it. I found that halo glorified my hair with my very first shampoo. You'll find out, too, when you use Halo, America's favorite shampoo. Five minute break, and I'll call you back in a little while, okay? Crazy. Uh, <laughs> well, Max, now we've been in rehearsal for a week. We don't know who's got the part. Nothing has happened. Let's, well, let's get on the ball. Hey, how about that kid who's been trying to crash the auditions? He might be okay. I threw this kid out four times yesterday. Is he back again? <laughs> no, he probably gave up by now. Well, that's good. We'll see him. What, what's next? What should we have next? Uh, the Johnny Ray number. We haven't got a man yet. All right, I'll do it myself. I'll do the Johnny Ray. Lou! Johnny Ray number. Great. Great. I went walking down by the river. <laughs> and then that's how I, and all at once I saw by the river a little white cloud that cried. He told me white very long time. No one said if he lived or died. Four times yesterday. What are you doing back? Get out of here. Get out of here. Well, I just wanted to be in the show. You want it to be? I want. I'll. I'll, I'll get out. I, what? I just wanted to be in the show. That. That's. Uh... But I'll be back. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, I'm just looking how the sets are going to be. How they look? Take a look for yourself. 
Pretty good, huh? Yeah. yeah. What, what's next? Uh, uh, that song and dance routine with the three kids. You want to see him? Yeah, bring them on out. Hey, Joe, send those three kids in. Hit it, Luke. Right. <laughs> That's your trio. Oh, yes, we worked together a long time, sir. Get out of here. <laughs> well, what? Well, I want to be in the show, sir. You can't be in the show. We need a leading man, and you're not the type. Oh, uh, well, 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 sir. Uh, tell, uh, tell me, sir, uh, what, what type are you looking for? <laughs> well, we need a cross between a, uh, Marlon Brando and uh, uh, the Continental. A little cross between that. Oh, well, that, that, that lets me out. I'm not that type, sir. Get out. I, I'll go, sir. Goodbye. <laughs> I'll be back for my name ain't Marlon Brandon Entel. <laughs> girls, girls, come on, come on, sweetheart. Now, we're going to do that new step to the Tatcha, huh? Okay? Luigi, right there. Like show business, like no business I know. Up higher, girls, higher. That's it. A little more so Jerry can change his costume. <laughs> Go and rehearse a little more, and I'll see you later in the trunks. <laughs> wow. There's a guy outside says he, uh, he wants to try an audition for the leading part. He says he's kind of a cross between uh, Marlon Brando and the, the Continental. All right, send him over on that set, and I'll watch him over there, okay? All right. Don't be afraid, sweetheart. It's only my apartment. <laughs> Come on inside, sweetheart. Uh -huh. How do you like the way I did the play Nova? All steel skin furniture. A <laughs> brutal book. Uh-uh. Uh, bless you, it's Nova. <laughs> I was hoping you would. <laughs> would you, uh, what is it, dear? You don't feel good? <laughs> Are you nauseous? <laughs> <laughs> How about a drink, darling? <laughs> you don't want beer. <laughs> what, champagne? Where do you think I am, a Beau Bramo? <laughs> I ain't no for no champagne. Yeah. A pot boy. If you weren't so short, it wouldn't have got on you, baby. Hey, ah, drink up. I'm sorry, babe. Who are you calling the slob? Who are you calling a slob? No one asked you to come in anyway, baby. Want to play check it? <laughs> I'll clear the tape. <laughs> Go ahead, it's your move, sweetheart. <laughs> Would you like a cigarette? <laughs> Here's a cigarette for you, sweetheart. <laughs> You've been going to the gym, ain't you?
Let me light a cigarette for you, sweetheart. Sweetheart. You know, a... <laughs> baby, but ba ba baby, baby, the, your dress, the dress is on fire, baby. <laughs> so what do you want to do about the dress? I don't care about the dress, but the steel skin furniture. <laughs> baby, the dress, the dress is on fire, sweetheart. What do you want to do about the dress? It's on fire. Huh? Didn't you like the way that I did that? Forget the whole thing. Hey, boss, I think your troubles are over. You think? I think just started. No, Pat Kelly, the agent, just called. He said he's got a leading man for you. Oh, did you hear that? Get out and get me some money. Get out of here. <laughs> All right, I'll go, sir. Go, sir. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye, sir. I'll be back when my name ain't Pat Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> you to get out of here. Oh, well, I'm only making one call, sir. It shan't cost you a moment time. <laughs> I certainly will. Yellow. Yellow. <laughs> this boy is handsome and brave and has got everything that you want but your girl. All right, well, why don't you send him on over to the apartment? Uh, well, yes, uh, I was going to ask you that because you can't come over to your rehearsal hall, but he'll come over to your apartment tonight. Now, what is the address? The address is uh, 424 South Elevate. Uh, we hold on just a minute. Uh, excuse me, uh, could you let me have a pencil of paper, please? Excuse me. That's uh, all right. Uh, hello there. Hello. Uh, mm -hmm. What was that address again? Uh, so, uh, 428 South Elevate. South Rainbow South Elevate. That's fine. Now, yeah. could you tell us how we get there? Just uh, let us know how we get there. <laughs> uh, hold on a sec. Yeah, sure thing. <laughs> you just told me to hold on and take the next <laughs> uh, What was it now? Uh, how do we get there? You go down Wilshire, about 14 blocks. Then you turn left on La Brea, cross caution, go to freight. After you get there, you go to the sand dunes. Then you see the sand pits and you jump in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm heartbroken, that's all. I'm heartbroken. Oh, come here. I think that you must... You really must love show business. Oh, yes, I do, sir. I love show business when the man says, Your car, Mr. First Nighter. <laughs> another opening, another, another show. Oh. I love the grease paint. Hold it. And the backstage. Hold it. And the girls dancing. Hold it. And the shows and the jugglers. Oh, please let me be in your show. All right, we... Oh, pray tell me, oh, father of a word. <laughs> Look, you go now. We need a male dancer for the next thing. You, you know, do you dance? Oh, yes, I do, sir. I'd like to show you the step I did in the ballet Charlotte Roots. All right. <laughs> oh, don't waste them. Don't waste the step. You go ahead, put on your clothes, and you can run out right out. Oh, huh? thank you very much, Mr. Morton. All right. <laughs> Girls. Girls, line up. Come on, fast. On the double. Huh? Get in line now. Get in line. You know, as you know, we, we open in about two days. Now, we don't want the show to be a flop. And uh, you must take your time. Now, uh, you remember, Gretz, at the Masonic Temple, and you were not there. <laughs> you lost your pain, you didn't get the show. So, you, you, the step is the right step. We do the time step. Four bars. Of, you ready, girls? Luigi. Right, <laughs> Ready, sir. You 
look like you're going fishing. What are you going to do? I, I, want, I want to dance. <laughs> All right, we get in line with the rest of the girls. All righty. Okay. Ah! You were dancing? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Dance with the girl. All right. All right. I'm sorry, sir. Don't be sorry, sir. All right, sir. <laughs> you want it on the telephone? On the phone? Yeah. Look. Your Mr. Astaire? Here. Uh, you show the girls what to do. The same time, step, and when you want them to stop, blow the whistle. What, what do I do when they should stop? Blow the whistle. But blow the whistle. Yeah, and give it good. All right. Bye. 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 <laughs> oh, I, I am in charge of the class. Isn't that swell? I'm the monitor. <laughs> All right. Uh, you know what I think we should do? Uh, now, hear this. <laughs> The best number for us to do is... Is that one, you know, where they go... Loudy down, loud down. Loud do dee do 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 Wadi da da Any of you know that number? Oh, well, show us how it's... Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, that's the one. All right, let's do that one. Hit it, label. <laughs> been, Bill. What have I done? Well, Joni, sometimes a girl's best friend is her... well, her dentist. Ask him. Wise words. Joan, for unpleasing breath, I advise Colgate Dental Cream, because only Colgate's has proved so completely it stops bad breath. Scientific tests prove that in seven out of ten cases, Colgate's instantly stops unpleasing breath that originates in the mouth. Yes, Colgate's has the proof. It cleans your breath while it cleans your teeth. Moreover, Colgate's is preferred for flavor over all other brands tested. And dental research has proved brushing teeth right after eating with Colgate Dental Cream stops tooth decay best. Now, thanks to Colgate Dental Cream, Jones like the moon, right on the beam. Brush your teeth with Colgate. Colgate Dental Cream, it cleans your breath. Water toothpaste. Water cleans your teeth. Colgate toothpaste. Cleans your breath. Water toothpaste. Water cleans your teeth. 
Remember, only Colgate Dental Cream has proved so completely it stops unpleasing breath. Colgate's cleans your breath while it cleans your teeth. For a long time, I want to sing a little duet with you. You would? Uh-huh. You want to do one right now? Let's, Let's do a little nice, sweet little number like Three Blind Mice or something like that. Just you and me. You know Wait, that wait. Where did you come to such a thing? <laughs> what? You and me. Well, there was nobody here at the present time, so what? I What? Nobody here, Dean. What do you want to be? What do you want to be at Simon? Look, Reed. <laughs> you want I mean, I'm out? sitting in the dressing room. I'm, I'm getting dry, and I hear you saying... Why don't we do a duet together? I don't talk that high. Look, I don't care. Oh, why don't you Thank check? God. All I know is, I want to be with you in the number. All right, Jernus, Jernus. Well, what number? Well, I don't know. How about the, you know, three blind mice? No, but I know a couple of stray cats. Oh, what is it? <laughs> you start this whole thing. You ready? Three blind mice. All right. <laughs> Blind mice, three blind mice. Three see blind how they mice. run, see <laughs> how they run. Palmolive's album of lovely women. Women who've discovered Palmolive brings out beauty while it cleans your skin. Says Alice Keene of Indianapolis. I was amazed the way Palmolive facials made my skin softer and far lovelier. Says Mrs. Faye Guerin of Los Angeles. My face feels so much smoother and looks clearer, brighter. Miss Ruth Reynolds of Chattanooga. I too found out. Palm Olive brings out beauty while it cleans your skin. Let me tell you how. Gently I massage Palm Olive's extra mild, pure lather onto my skin for 60 seconds, three times a day. Then I rinse with warm water, splash with cold, and pat dry. By changing to this Palm Olive beauty plan, 36 leading skin specialists have proved most women gain a lovelier complexion in 14 days or less. Yes, palm olive is all you need for gentle beauty care. Let your beauty be seen. Yes, let your beauty be seen. The palm olive brings out beauty while it cleans your skin. And for a beauty bath, enjoy big bath size palm olive. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, there's been some talk about Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis going overseas to appear at the Palladium Theater in London this summer. Well, it's not generally known, but this will not be the boys' first trip to a barn shore. The first trip was made some five years ago when Dean and Jerry were a very struggling vaudeville team. Now, as a matter of fact, here is the ship on which the boys first made that trip over five years ago. So let's turn the calendar back now and see what took place on that first trip abroad. Mr. Martin, where shall I put them? Put the bag down here. Cage upstairs, huh? Good. Don't go away. Don't go here. Thank you, Mr. Martin. Sorry, forget it. I'm, I'm sorry. Sorry, Herman. I didn't know you were sleeping. Get me out of here, Dean. Huh? Hey, get me out of here. All right, keep, keep talking. I'll find you. Come on, Dean. Get me out of here. What are you doing down there? Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Wait, I'll find it. Hey, hey, hey. Keep talking. Keep talking. Hey! I got you. I remember. Come on out. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it looks like 
Because you're not enjoying the trip. You should be happy. Say something. Say something. <laughs> Two nice things to do to me. Oh, I'm not happy what Joe happened to me. Hmm. Just because we don't have the money. Why should you have a beautiful stateroom and I gotta live in a gold bag? Well, it seems that we It just... seems nothing, Dean. All I know is... Now, we're going to you up, and the name of this act is D. Martin Jerry Lewis, not D. Martin and Potter. <laughs> Look at that, and all I know is... Ah! Uh, what's the matter? What's the matter? <laughs> you seem to be in trouble. Huh? What's the matter? Let's see. Oh, I see, I see. Uh, I see now, I see. Uh, 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 We haven't got enough money for two tickets. I don't want to, I don't understand about nothing. I'm so miserable. You have to, you have to be in a <laughs> away. If no one knows you're here, then no one knows the difference. Do you know that? Who's there? I'll open the door, Mr. Martin. Uh, it's the captain. <laughs> hey, watch, he'll make you watch the plane. Huh? Mr. Martin. <laughs> hi, hi, hi. Hi, no. Well, what seems to be the trouble, Captain? Uh, excuse me. That's all right. We heard there were stowaways on board, and I thought I heard a voice in here. Stowaway in here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you stowaways? Yeah. You're crazy. No stowaways I thought here. maybe if there were no, stowaways. No, no stowaways here. Yeah, if I found any, I'd have to no. throw you both in a brig. In a brig? Yeah. No, no stowaways here. <laughs> Can you imagine spending seven days in that crummy hole? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody here. Open that door. There's nobody here. I'll take it. There's nobody here. I'll just see if there's anybody in here or not. Nothing in that corner. I didn't see that. Empty. Thought I was a barricade. Told you there's nobody here. Anyone can make a mistake, you know. Where are you, Jerry? Whenever you want to go out, we find these stowaways on the Give me a hint. Where are you? We got to England, we turn them over to Scotland Yard, and then they hang them. <laughs> What'd you do with the pack? I don't know. <laughs> well, that's some for me. Yeah. What are you doing, Martin? Talking to yourself? Oh, I'm just looking at my old shrunken head I got in New Zealand. Shrunken head? <laughs> Couldn't find a human one, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Is it fragile? I mean, can I touch it? Be my guest. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> kind of dry. Yeah, gotta grease it up. Guess it ought to be wound up by now. Yep. <laughs> there we go. On deck, there's a big storm brewing. Oh, thank you. How do you like that? How about that? Every time I get ready to sit down in my cabin with a nice quiet meal, something happens. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I hope it isn't a rough trip. I hope it isn't a rough trip. I hope it isn't a rough trip. <laughs> Now's our chance, Jerry. Dinner for two up at the captain's. Come on. Over the captain's cabin. Come on. Let's go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Why? Oh, no. Why? Don't, don't. Oh, don't try. Look at the line. Go ahead. Why? What's the line? <laughs> Don't burden yourself with me. No. You go ahead. I'll just stay here by myself and die of malnutrition. Oh, <laughs> stop, stop. Come on, Jerry. A lot of good food here. You wow. Forced, you forced what? me. Right. Look, who ordered another stack of chips? Whoop. Oh, boy, I sure am hungry, Dean. Yeah. Oh, boy. Ah. Yeah, let's see. Yes, sir, boy. I, I sure am glad that we can come in here and eat. I thought when we left New York, I'd never get a chance. Yeah, I didn't think so either. Boy, it's good stuff, huh? Oh, boy, this is terrific. Mm. And a captain's food, that's the best food on the ship, you know. You ain't just saying that. 
Boy, I sure am hungry, Dean. Mm -hmm. You know, when I left New York, I was certain that we'd never have a chance. And I... I thought that, uh... <laughs> I thought we'd never got a chance, eh, yeah, boy? <laughs> Here, have some more chicken a la king. <laughs> oh, I'll make you like some cream spinach. How about that? Chicken a la king? You go for it. Cream, cream, cream spinach? No. <laughs> I thought when we left New York, we'd never get a chance <laughs> Delicious, but it's all everything's so creamy and wonderful and beautiful. <laughs> hey. What? Hey. What is it? Tell them I don't care if they sail the ship. I don't care if they run it fast, but Speed up. Don't rock it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see. What? The dun dun rock, the dun rock, air, oh air, <laughs> air, oh air, oh air, oh air, oh air, 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 Twice as easy, twice as fast. Use Ajax, boom, boom. the foaming cleanser. Get things clean, just like a whiz. You'll stop paying the elbow tax when you start cleaning with Ajax. So use Ajax, boom, boom. the foaming cleanser. Walk the dirt right down the drain. Ajax leaves no greasy cleanser scum in touch. So use Ajax, boom, boom. the foaming cleanser. Boom, boom, boom. Get things clean just like a whiz. Boom, 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 boom. Remember, Colgate Ajax foams as it cleans. Ajax cuts grease faster than any other leading cleanser. Ajax polishes as it cleans. Mmm, and it smells good, too. So use Ajax. Yes, use Ajax. For Ajax cleans all bathroom surfaces up to twice as easy and twice as fast as any other leading cleanser. Get two cans, one for the kitchen, one for the bathroom. Ajax, the foaming action cleanser. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Right now, I'd like to introduce four boys who we had the pleasure of working for, with, rather, for two or three years, and then they took a little jaunt over to Europe. They were a great sensation over there, so how about a nice, great big hand for the fabulous Four Step Brothers. Here they are. Well, you, you cats look real sharp. I, I just want to say, not only do we want to see you do your beautiful dance here, but the, I'd like to dance with him myself. Oh, we'd like that. You like that? Wait, 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 wait. wait. Where, where, where did you come to this? Where did I come to what? I mean, where did you come to this? You'll, you'll dance with the four boys. I mean, just tell me, well, how do you figure? <laughs> well, that's not, 
make a big here to do about it. You I don't want to make no to do here. All I know is <laughs> I feel it's my prerogative to dance with you also with them the same time. <laughs> all right, you want to dance with it? Let's all get in your line and let's go. All right. <laughs> let's do that stalk you. You ready? Go, Lamo. Back the old man's out here now. <laughs> there goes Speedy. <laughs> Don't exert yourself, Whoopi.
Bobby, I'm sorry. That's all right. That's all right. We, we make up for it in money. We give it away. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, wow, well, how many minutes? Speak up. One minute. One, One minute. minute? Oh, we can kill that in an hour. Yeah. We, uh... <laughs> Later next week, your favorite Abbott and Costello will be on the Colgate Comedy Hour. We'd like also to say very briefly, you've been so wonderful, the Muscular Dystrophy Association at MDA 8 New York, New York. And we want to thank you from the bottom of our hearts for helping a disease that thought that they would never have any hope. At MDA 8 New York, New York. Please send your contribution for a very, very worthy cause. We'd like also to say... Don't forget next week, frick and frack. <laughs> <laughs> We'd like to say that... Dean and I will be back in the fall. We'd like to thank Ernie Glucksman, a great producer, Ed Simmons and Norman Lear, wonderful writers, Kingman Seymour in the booth, the crewmen, the cameramen, the wonderful people who have made our television a very, very memorable event each time we did it. And we also we you. want to thank the crew, the, the next fall, the memberships, everybody. <laughs> and of course, our very wonderful maestro, our arranger and conductor, Dick Stabile. And until we have the good fortune of working for you again on behalf of Dean and myself, May God bless you and keep you. We wish we could afford you. Good night. And God, God bless y'all. The Colgate Comedy Hour has been presented by Halo Shampoo. Colgate Dental Cream. Ajax Cleanser. And Palm Olive Soap. invite you to listen to Bob and Ray on radio every weekday morning and the big payoff on television every weekday afternoon. Featured in tonight's cast were Hal Sawyer, Jack Fisher, Jack George, Peter Votrian, and Lee Erickson. Be sure and tune in again next week at the same time when the Colgate Comedy Hour will star Abbott and Costello with their special guest, Vera Zorina. Two weeks from tonight, Donald O'Connor will bring you Hedy Lamar in her television debut. Three weeks from tonight, the Colgate Comedy Hour will star Eddie Cantor. Ladies and gentlemen, forest fires destroy life and property. If you are picnicking or camping this summer, always be sure your matches, cigarettes, and campfires are completely out. And now, good night for the Colgate Comedy Hour, which has been presented by the Colgate Palmer Lafitte Company, makers of quality products since 1806. <laughs>